versus Mr. Pac-Man. I just have one question to ask you, Sid. Oh, what's up? Are you okay? I mean, the wellness check is appreciated, back. <laughs> <laughs> These are trying times. Indeed. So, Camus Linguini Pac-Man versus Terry. This is an interesting pick. Uh, Terry, a character that basically is phenomenal at these, like, B&Bs, oh and God. also <laughs> at those edge interactions. Aerial into downer, that will do. Jesus, that was a very quick stock, less than 20 seconds, and we already saw a spike off the side there. I'm, uh, I'm digging these confirms off them, too. Lots yeah. of crack shoot, which is something that basically forces Linguini all the way to edge. You basically just want to go ahead and get this character to a point where he no longer has full stage control. Yeah, and uh, Camu with uh, Terry here. Terry does do quite a bit of damage, so probably going to be very good at breaking that Hydrant any time that Linguini wants to set up. No Fruit Charge, though. No Hydrant Trap. He's just throwing out hitboxes. Linguini kind of swinging a little bit here while Camu's looking calm and collected. I love the projectile gameplay here from Camu. He basically just ha gets to back off and then dare oh the man to hit a button. God. And the second that he commits to anything, then he's got the power dunk ready. Yeah, and immediately just going to take him off the side again there with that power dunk. Throwing out the melon, trying to run in behind it. And we finally finding something here, but now Camu at over 100%. He does have that go meter ready. Interesting choice of going Galaga here. I mean, at this percent, you're typically not trying to rack up a ton more percent, but Ooh. did land a little bit errantly, should have DI down and then text to avoid that hydrant hit. Scabs with the game knowledge here. You, you know what you should have done in that situation. Come on. <laughs> so these are the B&Bs Terry is so known for. Just punching the fruit. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I've seen him do that like multiple times already. He just keeps throwing out hitboxes whenever one of the fruit is coming at him, and it just negates the effect of it. I'm wondering if he's trying to catch it. Maybe. It could just be they're trying to catch it with an aerial or smack it away because Terry's aerials are like surprisingly disjointed. Quite good, yeah. Ooh, the Nair to send off stage here again. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to ruin everybody's lives for a second. Uh, Terry's down smash sounds like Sandberg from Rivals of Aether. I <laughs> could not tell you. <laughs> he just sounds mm -hmm. like the little meme character. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> Go hasn't actually been a factor here, so good good to uh, Linguini for killing Camu relatively early once he had that, but there's a lot of work still to be done. Good option at ledge there is able to get the go-ahead and burn Knuckle the directly through that. Burn Knuckle. Mm -hmm. Burn Knuckle. And that is going to be game one in favor of Camu and the Terry. I have to see... What adaptations Linguini can make in this game, number two. I think a solid one would be not getting down here at 30% 10 yeah. seconds into the match. You know, um, I'd say that's a bit of a controversial opinion there, Scabs. I think that part of the match was just fine <laughs> it, for it just felt like for um, Linguini. Linguini, like, his Pac-Man likes to play from ahead. He likes to play where he doesn't have to feel pressured to go ahead and get a ton of damage and rack up combos or anything like that. Definitely. He just never had that opportunity at all. Yeah, uh, I mean, and that just, it happens sometimes, you know? You you eat a spike at 70 and you're just dead. <laughs> yeah, bad at times, ahoy. Yeah. So stage counter picks, perhaps Kalos. Um, this is a stage list that we have that really favors characters that like to run away because, good I hear, God, yeah, we have um, big stages on our list. I hear the yodeling song, so it's not Kalos. Yeah. Final D, this is also a good one. one go. Why does everybody pick this song, man? <laughs> this is an odd one it, for it's sure. It's so funny. Like, I, they have to do it as a joke. There's no way someone's like, ah, yes, this puts me in the spirit to fight my opponent to the <laughs> death. Yodel, <laughs> you! <laughs> I mean, it's a battle cry in their native tongue. <laughs> True. No, ooh, good, good tech. He's tried that a couple times with the tech back air, but not connecting quite yet. It's good reaction time from Linguini to recognize that that trap. Oh my god, he just again. ate another down not earth again. ledge. I thought we had learned. Hey, hey, look, in, to his credit, it took 30 seconds this time, not 20. Yeah, just hitting buttons at the ledge, and Camu has shown that he wants to go for that constantly. Linguini has to go ahead and look into more standard get ups instead of jumping at that man. Yeah, definitely. And now, but uh, he has racked up damage much quicker this time. He already has given Camu this go meter, and we'll have That's to see air dodge. if it plays in effect. Not or, at but all. it does not. Yeah, it's those errant air dodges. Whenever you do a, d a directional air dodge, unless your character has like a really, really good recovery, if it's at ledge, you're not. You're just back. dead. You're yeah. just finished. <laughs> He jumped um, again from Edge. Like, Camus was going for an aerial, too, so... Yeah, I think we need not adapting, and it's he hasn't gotten punished since the down air, but, I mean, you'd think he'd try something else. 
disjointing the Hydrogen, but then, like, the, this projectile pressure has been relatively effective at just keeping Linguini on his toes. He hasn't really felt comfortable going at long range. The high recovery there, I, I was expecting, like, a pretty hard punish from Camu, but I guess he just wasn't ready for it. Oh, 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 he just, dropped yeah. shield. I think either a parry attempt or was trying to dash forward, either or that slow, deceptive hitbox. Ooh, there's the Galaga racking up this damage right at 98%. Doesn't quite have go, but now he does. We'll have to see. Great Kittle. recovery. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Good delay there and just finding his way back. Does he's a double jump, jump, he does. Yeah, yeah he okay. kept it. Good, smart play, but going to get hit by that orange and just sent right out. The offstage gameplay is certainly in Linguini's favor, and we're going to need to see more of that Definitely. if he wants to go ahead and make this comeback in game two. Did this forward air just do like 30 damage? Oh, oh no, Terry's okay. move. Oh, no, oh, not again. He no. jumped from edge. <laughs> Linguini! Too, too many times Camus put the man on notice, but Linguini <laughs> not paying attention in that situation. I figured it out. I know why he lost that set. He didn't have Remy on his head pulling his hair and controlling his <laughs> movements. Come on, Linguini, where's your where's your little mouse controlling your every move? That's a Ratatouille reference for anyone that didn't get it, by the way. <laughs> it took me a moment. It took yeah. me a moment. <laughs> Sorry. It's the name of the main character. Mm, yep, yep. So, um, all right, did I actually get called during that one? I thought I heard my tag, so uh, you'll have to